Step inside. Walk this way. You and me, babe. Hi, hi. No. Uh, look, I've been listening to Def Leppard since I was a teenager. I'm an old man now, but I admit some of their later albums I haven't quite been following. So I've enjoyed Def Leppard, mu- Def Leppard music throughout the years and quite a few other songs. Now, I'm not talking about just pyromania and hysteria of course i've, I've enjoyed other stuff uh, from the later catalog but i'd admit in the last 15 years i probably haven't followed them as closely as i could have or should have and i do apologize for that so what i really like is christina one of our best patrons ever um she says hey ryan i know you like def Leppard, and i know you like their stuff but you might want to see a live performance and i would love to see a live performance and this is a song called take what you want it's from their latest album called diamond star halos and it's the lead track of said new album. So that's cool. And I, w- I really want to hear their new stuff. So this is great. Thank you, Christina, for sharing this with me and giving me the opportunity to listen to it. Did you have anything else you wanted me to say about the song? Well, let's find out. She goes, uh, Ryan, I got the perfect video for you. Def Leppard is written by Joe and Rick. Cool. The song is the track number one. I had to settle this. I had to settle this. I, look, I took the words right out of your right up, Christina. It's like we're a simpatico, you know? All right. Here we go. I'm legit excited to watch this because I love rock and roll. I love hard rock. And I've always enjoyed Tough Hopper. I've, I've, it's still a band I need to see live. I know. It's terrible.
right. So, I mean, great stuff. Look, I don't think it was live, live in the sense, like, obviously it was uh, intercut with different live performances because the guitars changed, their outfits changed. So it, it, there might have been some live tracks was definitely polished live, which is fine. Like, we, I, I've actually heard them play live, and they sound great live. So I just don't know how much of this audio was, quote, unquote, like, live because, like, which, you know, which show did they pick? But uh, fantastic song. This is an old school Def Leppard song. They definitely knew what they were doing when they did this song, and that's great. They went back to that hysteria sound. This is hysteria, adrenalized era, uh, sounding guitar work, the backing vocals, the heavy, crunchy guitar. Uh, like I said, I haven't heard their stuff. Like, I've heard it throughout the years, so I know that they've, you know, this just sounds more old school and that's good for them for doing that, for tapping into that. And I think the song has been well received by the fans because of that. And uh, I mean, look at Phil Collin there too. I mean, the guy's got an incredible build again. I just did another reaction video with the lead singer that was very buff. Now I'm watching a guitarist. It's very buff and I'm trying to get body self images here, but that's okay. They're older gentlemen now. So good for them for taking care of themselves. And I've always liked Def Leppard too, because they're, they're innocuous and not in a bad way. I mean, they just don't have any drama around them other than, of course, well, the car accident where Rick lost his, uh, his arm, of course. But I mean, there's no real like drama or scandals. You know, they seem to be really class at guys, easygoing guys. They're always smiling. They seem like just good guys. They're probably family guys too at this point. And what I like too about this song is we had the uh, shared guitar solo work between Phil and Vivian, which I kind of like. And I know Vivian gets, uh, he still seems like, I always feel like he's the new guy. You know, he's the new guy in the band that replaced, um, oh, Phil Clark. Is that his name? I apologize. I forget all the guys' names. The, the gentleman that passed away in his late 20s there. But yeah, the, uh, there you go with uh, Vivian playing lead there. So that was cool that they shared the shared lead guitar duties. Great guitar solo, great song, great rocket track. Kind of a cool way to open your show too, you know, get that new song out. And you see, you still see the fans singing along, which is fantastic as well. So fantastic, fun song. Look, it makes me nostalgic. I love this music. I love rock and roll. I love hard rock. It's just such my wheelhouse I uh, would love to see these guys live. So thank you, Christina, for you know kind of taking me down a bit of a memory lane slash new song from the band. So uh, thank you so much. And I hope everyone enjoyed my uh, thoughts on the song and Def Leppard in general. Uh, great fun band. Great fun band. So thank you so much, Christina. We hope to see you on the next one.